Hey everyone, it's Evan and welcome back to my channel. So today is just going to be a quick little video of me talking to you, the people, about my personal views on the differences between being a photographer and an artist. So in my eyes, a photographer is someone who just presses a button, whereas an artist is someone who seeks deeper meanings within their photographs. An artist creates imagery that invokes emotion, but most importantly, creates imagery that tells a story and or has a purpose of some form. Most social media photographers lack this sense of creativity and tend to reform to the current trends of today's creative world, where a true artist thinks outside of the box to create a unique style of their own. In my eyes, if you're doing photography with the main goal being money and not create a satisfaction within yourself, then to me, you're not an artist. An artist creates to satisfy their inner need to be creative because without it, they would be lost. Artists create not for money or fame, but to simply express themselves. I see daily on social media how fellow creatives get so caught up in the statistics opposed to appreciating the art that's right in front of their eyes for what it truly is. This reason in itself is why I push the idea of getting familiar with the more tangible slash physical side of photography. Things such as photo books, art galleries, printmaking, and even film photography for all my digital friends out there. All of these will not only make you a better photographer, but will allow you to appreciate the art side of the medium. So next time, when scrolling through your media feed, just take your time. Look at each image, really try to take it in, analyze it, because you'll realize that each time you come back to that image, you'll see something that you didn't see at first glance. Now, don't get me wrong, I think media platforms can be a great resource for finding new artists, as well as a great tool for marketing your artwork and in today's creative world, it's kind of essential. But like with anything at all, it's about how effectively you use the materials given. In conclusion, when out shooting next, really try to allow time to slow down and allow yourself to be in that very moment. Mindfulness has a huge part in all of this. Allowing your mind to be fully present is essential to being able to truly appreciate a piece of art. We live in a very fast paced world and there's so much beauty around. So sometimes we just need to catch our breath and take the time to smell the roses. But yeah, that's gonna be the end of today's video. I really hope you guys enjoyed and I'm really interested to see what you guys think in the comment section below. Um, so I'll see everyone next time and until then, peace.